to create a design, you're going to use masking tape and tape off areas that you don't want the next coat of paint to cover. For this design, I'm going to tear strips of masking tape and tape them on there, giving my design a jagged, kind of random look. Make sure to press down firmly on the edges of your tape to prevent paint from seeping underneath the edges and ruining your pattern or design. To create a more precise design, I'm going to take a piece of tape, put it down on a cutting mat. Do not cut on my desks, or you will be in big, big trouble. And I'm going to use an X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut a nice straight line, or as straight of a line as I can cut, which probably won't be very straight at all. And I'm going to peel that up. Lay that design on my car. Now I've got like a racing stripe going down. Letters and numbers are really difficult to cut out. I would probably recommend getting a sticker with letters and numbers on it before you try cutting something out because they just are not that easy to do. Uh, my K, not the best looking K in the world, but, you know, the sticker would have looked a lot better. With the design taped off, I can now do light coats to cover the red except the areas I've taped off that I want to still stay red. The rest of the car will become black. And I'll have a black car with a red K and red stripe, etc. Remember when doing designs, you want to do the light color first and cover it with the darker color. When you've completely covered the first color of paint and the paint is dried, you can begin removing the tape. Be sure to pick up and clean up any scrap tape and throw it away. You can see all these areas where the tape wasn't pushed down really well around the edges. And then you can see the areas where I pushed down really well and there's nice clean edges.